Good afternoon and welcome to the Lunchtime Express with Enrico Alfonso. I'm joined today by Jumasani Mbebe, the actor who plays Don Begu on the latest Netflix original uh, from South Africa called Savage Beauty, which is playing in the background here. And it's just such an amazing, wonderful local content production that they created that we had a watch party for last night i've been hyping it all week you guys have been hearing uh and yeah i'm just so honored and privileged to have him here with us and um yeah just over to you Dumusani. welcome thank you for joining us today how are you uh, alfonso thank you for having me it's uh, actually a pleasure man uh, i'm doing good and uh, i hope you guys uh, uh, enjoyed it uh, uh watching savage beauty Oh, we really, really did, man. Um, and, and like I told you, I mean, I know you're supposed to be the bad guy, but I was telling them, I was like rooting for you. And then I felt sad <laughs> for Don Begu. And I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like worried for him when he got the heart, when he got sick. It was like a roller coaster, man. And uh, um, then one of yeah. the Watch Club members uh was actually in favor of mrs mbegu and i'm like but she's so mean and she's so <laughs> like her. she's like no no she has something she has like a backstory to why she's mean and all of that and i'm like no she's so mean man <laughs> it is so gruff and like she just takes in charge of everything um but yeah i was actually looking at some of your um your photos online and i was like this this dude is uh so familiar uh from like when i was growing up you know with generations and stuff like that i was like without the beard you're like a totally different person dude you like, know wow, it's, that it's, was it's, it's yeah no it's 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 something that i play um i play on as well you mm -hmm. know you know when you have, i'm playing different characters uh, i just style myself differently you know yeah exactly so, so, it's like just, almost a different just, look for a different character. yeah yeah i mean like imagine now if i were to save everything yeah i'll just <laughs> like you know oh, but that, that one <laughs> the one thing where you have a mustache is like an iconic look man that yeah, was like yeah, an yeah, iconic yeah yeah look. yeah <laughs> no it's, it's it's actually quite interesting how 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 people you know uh, the audiences actually look at don you know some think he's a bad guy some think he's a good guy and and I'm actually thinking, you know, it's there, there's a fine line. There's very, 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 very fine line. Oh, that actually, could, that's that one of the things I like about the show is that um, it's not black and white. There's yes. no, like, full yes. evil or full good here. Yes. Um, everybody yes. is still human. Everybody is still struggling <laughs> with things. Like, even Zintle, she's struggling between revenge and being a, an actual good person, you know, still. Yeah. Um, and then she's also got the... Uh, tender loving moments in there that she wasn't expecting as well you know so yeah, I love no. that element of the show <laughs> and again like we actually feel sorry for Don at some points um, as opposed to just like he's the full bad guy uh, and he's some like you know uh, mafia boss or something it's like he's got yeah, man. he's got things that are happening to him I think I think always I mean actors will always you know um, defend the characters that they play you know and 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 I'm not I'm not any different as well because I don't see him as a bad guy, you know. Yes, maybe fifteen years ago, you know, whatever it is that he did was bad. But currently I, I, I just believe that, you know, it's it's all about, you know, building his family, building his empire and making sure that, you know, uh his his family is intact, you know. So it's and you see, that, but that's that, why I posted the real power behind Don Begu is the beard. Because I want to know now, man, your beard game is next level. You, you have like a personal beard stylist or what are you using to make it like all... I've never seen a beard like that, man. I've only seen like crazy beards. Yours is like pristine, like, like sculpted. <laughs> it's like sculpted. It's not even like a beard. You're like sculpting the beard. <laughs> So no, tell us man, what's the secret uh, behind that, man. I it's 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 um self grooming, you know. Um, I don't have um a special, you know, barber who takes care of my beard. I I just do the the normal, you know, just trim it nicely, you know, and 
you know how did you learn like did, that. You, did you look up anything or did you just like it was just natural from doing it yourself it's natural yeah it's natural i've, I've been like this since my generation's days you know no. well maybe not so prominent you know in terms of the salt you know but uh you know uh i was a bit i mean i'm, I'm more salty now <laughs> than salt and pepper no but I, you know? i also love that you didn't diet and it's like natural and, and yeah. the color is there and and it looks and that's what i like it, it i hate it when people diet and you know like they're having a midlife crisis see. or something <laughs> <laughs> like, be natural because it, it suits you dude it like really suits you you could be like if they create a show about like Greek gods or something, you could be like Zeus, dude. <laughs> oh wow, man! You know, I would with love a light that. Being the oh, I love <laughs> That'd be too awesome. I would but really the beard. I would love to play Zeus. You know, oh, we I should love, do I it, love, man. We should I love do it. We should get a local production with the Greek gods, man. Oh yeah, the Greek gods. Oh, that 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 those All right, gods. So oh, I want to yeah. ask you. Um, what was it like to actually work on a Netflix production? Like, how has it been different from other productions that you worked on um, in terms of just the design element, the moving parts, mm. the way it was shot? Just can you tell us about how that experience was? Yeah, um, it, this, this um, strange enough, was my uh, first Netflix um, gig. You know, first of many, yeah. first of many, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, um, there's just, there's just a lot of, of, of differences, man. You know, you like, you know, from you, 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 I mean, the moment you step on set, you almost see the money, you know, even like at base camp, when you get there, you have a trailer, you know, you, you have your own trailer and like, there's all these big trailers and are you thinking, yeah, no, you know what? I'm on the money here. This is money, you yeah. know. And and um, one of the first things that I look at when I when I um, get on set, I, I I always look at the kind of machines that they are using. You know, like your camera yeah, the rings. and 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 you know that that just says money, money. <laughs> I, I I I think. I, I think you know our our budgets you know locally um are quite uh, thin you know and 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 i'm not sure why that is because these guys are still you know mm -hmm. um generating a lot of revenue through you know um ad say ad space and mm -hmm. you know ad, i mean advertising and all and 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 you hear that the CEO of 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 um, Multi Choice uh, walked away with like 150 million rand bonus, you know what? that year. And you're thinking, shouldn't that money be right you know, invested, invested back into you know? the company exactly. and, and 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 paying the actors like, like you know much better than they actually do? Well, yeah, I, mean, I mean they, they also need to get for the times now and like you know do the streaming. Yeah, thing because yeah, um, yeah, that's where the world is going. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 the, the the international aspect with which things are done, you know, on a but like I, ha a I have to say set. that with especially with the latest local productions of Netflix, has been phenomenal, especially. Has been phenomenal. I mean, you see, uh, you see that yeah. international quality, but with the South African element, which is something yeah. we haven't had before. Yeah. You know, we've had yeah. like a little bit shotty sound. We've had like uh, the color grading was good on the on the movie <laughs> stuff, you know but yeah it's like you can see the international quality and the rigs that you're talking about you can see the panning shots that they make oh uh, yeah especially with your character you know because there's got to be they they zoomed in a lot <laughs> and they played a lot <laughs> on your features um so yeah. I mean, that takes that quality rigs and uh, i mean if you if, if, I mean, if you look at if you look at for example you know th that just goes to show how how invested they like netflix is um when it comes to their shows i mean the 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 the, the, the beginning sequence of of, of 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 savage beauty which is like all that red carpet that, yes, that glitz in the yes. glam, that was reshot it, it was shot differently and then the guy said no up the game let's like up the game let's let's get 
let's make it big let's make it the biggest event you know in Joburg wow. you know and and it was really short that's and exactly that's what i was sport. asking when yeah. you know when the when the red carpet shot was coming in like when even when like uh, celebrities like classies were rocked up on the carpet and stuff yeah that's like is does that really happen though like offset and stuff like that in south africa do we have premieres like that where it gets so flashy and glamoured that people are taking like tons of shots and and stuff like that yes we do yes we do we, we do have that you know well should i say we did have that especially with um did it feel like know, that the, for the premiere though with you they were flashing <laughs> you like crazy that came i'm not i'm not i'm not really into into the that red carpet because they always um give you a brief of well, i mean you gotta look um red you you gotta be red carpet ready and i'm like thinking what is a red carpet baby does it involve so i don't even tar- know how you stayed uh what's this without getting blind because i was like blind and just looking at you getting flashed like all that stuff it was just like, all the way around <laughs> this dude was just following you with the camera he was like going all the way around yeah. you just, like, trying to do like a 360 shot or something uh i so, know yeah, that was really uh, such a crazy night man you must have um, I it mean, was, apart, apart from obviously the the glitz and glamour part, I mean, you got to reunite with the cast members and um, you know get to celebrate that victory with them. Yes, definitely, man. It was. Um, it, I, 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 I mean, did this. But the nice thing about this one is that two of the actors in the cast I have worked with, you know, mm. and um, Tati um, Mushesh, who plays my uh, my wife, you know. It, you know, she actually played my uh, love interest. She played my girlfriend <laughs> in um, in a previous show that we were shooting together before we jumped in. Oh, so you guys uh, already have fans that are shooting you? Yeah, so we so we already so we had already have we, we already had that uh, you know um, a, a chemistry between between us. You know, oh, even though of course of them, did you all form like a bond over the shoot time yeah. and. Yeah, over 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 a short over a short period of time, we just clicked, and there was just a lot of laughter, you know, on set. And you know, if anyone is not on set on the day, we we just jump on a, a video call and like, yo, oh, guys, kill it, you know, kill it. So that that was that was the spirit with which you know, Savage Beauty, you know, was was created, especially when it comes to 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 the cast. You know, it was really 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 nice. Uh, hey, just gang. one thing on the um, on the whole filming thing and the quality wise, where was it shot with all these trailers and stuff? I'm sh- I don't understand how with social media we don't have like people just uh, taking pictures and being like, "What's going on here? Why is there so many movie t- trailers here? Uh, what's what <laughs> kind of production is it? You know, was it like in some yeah. kind of secluded forest or something that you guys were shooting?" <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, we we actually shot in in, in Joburg, mm. um, um, and um, I think the scenes between um, Ndu and and Zintle were the were actually shot on were actually shot in Devon. So the, there was a skeleton crew, a skeleton crew that actually flew down to that, that traveled down to Devon. Mm. And but uh, a lot of your shots were done at the house, right? The big yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That house, the Bengal house, is in Joburg, you know. Um, See, so how was it? So that the Bengal house was there, and you filmed there, but then oh, you had like was... tons of movie trailers. Where, where, where did they park the movie trailers then? They, 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 they park them. There's like a base camp, which is where everyone, you know, sits. They arrive there, and then they wait for for makeup, like everything, get dressed, and then we travel. To ah, the actual all these set, influencers which is are sleeping, man. They don't even look out their windows and take pictures and see what's going on here. I don't know if <laughs> one picture of like, but like when an international star comes to Cape Town, there's like shots of them eating food. There's like shots of them going to the shop, <laughs> changing their socks even. You know, I don't understand yeah. that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I, guess it's, it's I guess it's all about the brief as well. You know? <laughs> I guess it's all about the brief. If, if there's someone who who is um, given that mandate, you know, like take pictures of the guys eating food, take pictures of them arriving, take pictures of them, <laughs> you know, leaving, you know, just to 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 to, to give it that, you know, I, I guess with, with we, we'll probably get to see that when we see 
uh, the EPK, you know. Mm. Yes. When we see the EPK, yeah, I think I think that's 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 like I mean the, your proper behind the scenes, you yes. know. Um, that's that should actually be quite interesting because <laughs> okay. it gives you the so real I, world. I, I see you here uh, that you have a bachelor's of arts in English and psychology, a performer's diploma in theater, and a master's <laughs> of drama and acting. Oh, wow, dude! Talk about <laughs> overqualified! <laughs> My gosh! But okay, speaking to that, right? What do you think is the psychology behind Don Bego, or, or behind your character in this case, um, in regards with his family and how he behaves? You know? Yeah. No. Yes. You, you, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you actually put that into context first. <laughs> yeah, give us your psycho. Give us your English. psycho analogy. <laughs> You're on the couch now. Listen, it's it's. If you look at Don, Don is so into himself. You know, he he almost has. He, there's almost that um, narcissistic nature about him. You know, everything is about him. I mean, mode, you know? I mean, yeah, everything, ev- every little thing. I mean, these are my kids. Uh, this is my family and this is my company i built it myself and you, you know it, it's 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 so it's so narcissistic you know uh, because you you think and i think what drives him you know um um is is the fact that you know he 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 truly believes that 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 everything you know would probably just fall apart without him you know it's 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 and 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 to understand the the, the 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 psychology you know of 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 a character you know takes really more than having started you know psychology you you, you one needs to understand you know, who is this guy what are his thought processes you know and 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 how does he perceive everyone around him you know because the mere fact that he he, he keeps on wanting to take wives um, under the pretense of, of, <laughs> of we were of, talking of, about it last night like he gets no attention <laughs> from that one so he goes to that one then when that one doesn't give him attention he now finds another one he finds another one <laughs> so it's 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 i mean that's just done you know yeah i know um, well the way he does things you know uh i mean he says he wants to expand his family he wants to have a bigger family he wants to have more children so in as much as he's not making it about himself, he's making it about his family. Mm. It it really is about himself because I think that's what that's what would actually make him happy, you know, to have but more kids. And that to actually passed the torch, which is uh, a big deal. I mean, I thought he'd want to keep it for himself for as long as you know he could, but he's willing to actually, um, you know, choose a successor. And I think yeah, that's why which, he wants the wives and more babies and stuff. <laughs> and he actually stalls you know he just he stalls on that one i mean on passing the torch he just stalls and you know i guess that's why one of the characters in, in, in like i think that's pila says something about um when, when he's being asked so how does it feel to be a ceo mm-hmm. uh, he says oh maybe you should ask my dad because in, in, in as much as I'm CEO, he still is the CEO, you know, just behind the scenes because he controls everything that I do, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, so it's not a, it's not a complete, you know, uh, handing over of the torch, you know. Yeah. But what yeah. do you think was his reasoning for the whole? Beh- what what the the other side of the business is like? What do you think his reasoning was? Was it like more that uh, he went with the times or? He uh, wanted the money, you know, that uh, he, he knew he had to sacrifice something for the money and he made that decision to go ahead with it. I, I think Don himself, you know, was a human guy, you know. <laughs> Remember him and there was that skin lightening um, lotion. Was it even like, yeah like a human it, it that's has... actually what i wanted to ask you is there like a um sort of history in south africa with with skin whitening products or like bleaching products yes there yes there is yeah there so is. it's like a dark uh, side I, of 
of our yeah, past. It, 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 yeah, yeah, there is. I mean, I, I, I remember a long time ago, these guys used um, like Hemen. You know, it this product was called Hemen. Uh, it had on, 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 on one part, like a, a black man in a hat and, and like a silhouette and, and a stick. And they would use that skin lightning and it was for men, you know? And, and you, you would now find this guy who is like, you know, whose face is light, but the neck is as dark as dark can be, you know? So, so I mean, to, to answer your question, you know, I think everything revolved around, he saw an opportunity, you know, and, and he, he saw an opportunity to actually create an empire that, that, that will uh, generate a lot of money for him. And um, I guess, I, I guess he, he just, you know, he just um, had to overlook, you know, the, 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 the effects, you know, his product had on, 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 on the guinea pigs, mm. you know, or, or on the people that are out there, you know, in the market. I mean, like, even, 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 um, you know, Linda says, listen, it's, 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 it's a, it's a supply and demand, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, economic you know, it's the issue. Yes. So <laughs> if, if, if people want to poison themselves, let them poison themselves. I mean, we have celebrities here in South Africa that we know are not as light as they, they are. We know that they actually use like some skin bleaching. <laughs> okay, oh, now real. it is coming. <laughs> yeah, no, we oh, no, we God. know, we coming. know, and they know as well. <laughs> oh boy, no, <laughs> nah, let's know. not name, yeah. let's not name names now. But <laughs> no, definitely not, definitely not. <laughs> oh, that is good. You know? Okay, so last question, right? Yeah. If you had just one piece of advice one nugget of wisdom that you would give to uh, other aspiring actors, creatives out there, um, and especially with all your educational qualifications, you know, even the ones that are studying now, <laughs> who are taking the time to study, you know, if you could just give them one piece of advice, what would that be? To study is one thing, but to get to do it is, uh, is another story. I always say to people, especially actors, take direction. Take direction, you know, because remember that the director, you know, um, that is why that, that's why there is a saying, you know, you, you have writers writing the the film, you you have producers producing the, the 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 film, but at the end of the day, it's the director's film because they are the ones. That, that 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 have come up with the creative treatment they are the ones that understand the bigger picture in terms of what is it that they want to say through the movie you know so you just have to take direction if you take direction you will you will you will you will go far you will go far i love it that's perfect man yeah always don't have like a full cup i think that's the old chinese proverb and um, always be humble and willing to learn. Never think Definitely. you know everything. Definitely. Um, There's always I mean, about this show. Yeah, about this show, this is what I, I, I always say. Uh, people say to Sunny, you've been doing this for over 20 years. And I say to them, oh, well, maybe then this project is going to give people an opportunity to get to see what is it that Sunny is capable of. Because I guess they've been hearing about Dumisani, but they don't really know what Dumisani is made of. You exactly. Know? And there's a whole generation of people who only watch Netflix that will now discover you and it'll only go further from there, man. That's the Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. But yeah, thank you for your dedication. 20 years, dude. And now now on Netflix, the world stage all over 192 yes. countries. Let's name all the achievements that you're going to get from this. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I'm right. really, really happy and proud for you, brother. That's that's just wonderful, man. No, thank you so much, man. I'm actually like you know very worried about how do we beat this with season two if we're getting season two. You know, <laughs> it, I mean, I'm I'm already thinking ahead. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking end game. Like, how is it going to end? Is Zindle going to get her revenge? What happens when um, what's uh, the other son's name? Sorry, man, I'm blanking you. Ndu. Yeah, yeah, Ndu. What's going to happen when Ndu finds out? 
you know, it's it's crazy. It's like how do the how are the fa- what's gonna happen when the family finds out what they what you what you did to Zintle? You know, how's that gonna mm-hmm. affect everybody? Are they it's, gonna, it's gonna be cra- it's, it's gonna like be crazy. what's the end game? You know, where's that it's gonna, gonna be end? really crazy? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of material. There. There's a lot of material yeah. to work with. Yeah, but but truly hands down to you guys because again this only creates opportunities you know for other aspiring people in South Africa more South African content to come more a- African writers to get their work published you know it's only going to go up from here and Netflix no, has yeah. committed to that they want to see more oh, yeah. African content so oh, yeah yeah no, no. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today, man. I'm, it was really amazing. We had a wonderful conversation, and yeah, you're just an amazing person, dude. So overqualified. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm like feeling guilty. I was thinking, I was not even. Um, but but really, okay. Can I just get you to say um, the shout out for it's FM? So the shout out would be like. Um, I'm Tumisani Mbebe. I play uh, Don Begu on Netflix Savage Beauty. And um, you're listening to Eta FM. Or you, and then you can just do Hi, I'm Tumisani Mbebe because everybody knows you. And you're listening to Eta FM. So just like those two. Okay. Uh, should I type okay. in the chat or? No, Alice, we can do it. Okay, yeah. So just go for it whenever you're ready. All right. Hello, my name is Jimmy Sunny Mbebe. I play Don Bengu on Savage Beauty. Available for streaming now on Netflix SA. I just want to say a big shout out to all the listeners of ATAR FM. Lovely. Okay, and then just the one, Jimmy Sunny Mbebe, you're listening to. All right. Hello, my name is Jimmy Sunny Mbebe, and you are listening to ATAR FM. Yes. Lovely. Beautiful, man. All Thank right. you so much again. Uh, we'll stay in touch. Just send me your email and your WhatsApp and stuff, and I'll uh, send you the links and everything as soon as I have everything. All right. right. Thank you, my brother. Awesome. Thank you so have much. a lovely day, man. All right. Have a good one, too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.